So with this install, what we've got is another off-grid system using Tesla. Uh, two Tesla batteries there, 27 kilowatt hours of storage in total. And that comes up to the Tesla gateway here, uh, which is the brains of the system. A lot of electronics and stuff behind there. Feeds the switchboard and then we've got the SMA 6 kilowatt inverter. And up on the roof, we've got, I think about eight kilowatts of solar panels, LG, Neon H's. So this property previously uh, was running on a generator, using a lot of fuel, obviously it's, this one's, this one's in Leighton. This one's about three hours out of Perth. Uh, so previously they were just running on this generator. Building a awesome setup over there. Uh, but this generator was running 24 7. Good generator, Kubota, uh, but still running 24 7 uses a lot of fuel. So now this generator is just there to support the off grid system and might run occasionally depending on what sort of size loads they've got um, in winter when there's not much sun, but I doubt it will run at all. What we've got here is a trickle charger set up on the generator so that uh, when it does need the generator the generator is going to start otherwise the battery will go flat uh, after sitting around for potentially six months 12 months whatever um, so yeah they um no generator anymore purely off grid uh, fairly expensive setup this one i'm looking up towards uh, 40,000 plus your generator and um, with Tesla you do have to use a good quality generator so they're like Kubota, Hermosa, uh, Kohler and they're all up around the six to nine thousand dollar mark but um, fantastic system this can all be monitored from the app on their phone uh, one key thing is that it does need to have mobile signal so we have got a reasonable mobile signal out here and um, that way they can um, see it on their phone uh, wherever they may be as long as they've got a, a signal. The Tesla batteries can't be in the sun like they are at the moment. They're actually going to put a covering up there now that I've finished to shelter the batteries. Uh, also they should be installed in the heat envelope of the house, so ideally a garage or something like that. Uh, however that is relevant to how much battery energy the how much energy the batteries are going to consume themselves keeping themselves warm because with the tesla batteries they will heat themselves up and they will also keep themselves cool um, they've got a, a radiator behind here and there's a fan which will suck air in from this side and draw it out through this side um, so if in winter when it does get really cold they will use a little bit of their own energy to keep warm um, which isn't ideal, but for this instance, they've got more than enough um, energy storage than what they're going to need. So there it is. Uh, very neat. All done in the cabinet. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.